The Mobile Technology and Repair Complex, also known as MTRC, is a rapid innovation and exploitation capability comprising a distributed network of special operations force operators, technicians, engineers, and managers tasked to identify timely technical solutions to solve operational problems at the point of need. The mission of the MTRC program is to provide a timely and responsive means to repair, modify, and enhance current capabilities of Special Operations Force systems and subsystems, as well as fabricate, design, and innovate new equipment to increase the lethality and survivability of Special Operations Forces on the battlefield. But what ultimately prepped me for uh, an MTRC deployment was the MTRC core training. We went through this uh, two month, two and a half month long training that went through everything from construction to welding, sewing, machining, uh, CAD. Uh, we even had a shooting and uh, combat medical course as well. Developed a lot of social skills as well, working with the operators, working with prior special forces guys, current special forces guys working with other engineers, and it's you learn a wide variety of different skills. I'm an engineer, I've never served in the military before. I've gone out on ships, but more, no more than a month at a time. So basically putting my life on hold for six months, coming out here and uh, doing a good mission and coming back, it's challenging, but now that I'm out here, it's a, a lot easier, you know. And it's fun, you know, uh, helping teach people these new skills that I know that they will use on their deployments as well as when they get back. And a lot of people, especially with the, some of the younger people coming through, they're learning a lot of things. They've never done welding or machining or 3D printing or so. Like they're, they're coming to the table with a lot of theoretical knowledge and helping lead them to the practical side of things. <laughs> Very exciting. The basic requirements to apply for the MTRC program, first and foremost, you must obtain branch manager approval. Once you do obtain a branch manager approval, then go ahead and get a hold of the MTRC recruiting team. You're going to send them your resume and then we'll schedule an interview from there. What we're looking for is engineers or scientists, all right, grades up to GS-13 or NT-5, ND-4, and our program does not have a minimum grade requirement. You know, we need people that are motivated self-starters, don't need to be told what to do, that can take the ball and roll with it. And they must be a DOD civilian. At this time, we're not taking contracted personnel into the program. You must be able to pass a pre-deployment medical. You must attend the NTRC basic training, which is nine weeks here at Crane. What you can expect on the Mobile Technology and Repair Complex program, you're going to have close daily interaction with the Special Operations Forces you guys will be supporting. Right, you're going to be living with and working directly with the uh, soft operators, you know, whether that be Army Special Forces, Rangers, SEALs, MARSOC. They're going to be giving you, you know, direct requirements, direct input. They're going to say they have you know, this capability gap, and it's going to be your job to, to find a solution to that capability gap. All right, you're going to make this product, hand it over to them. They're going to take it out on mission, use it on mission, come back and give you immediate feedback. So it's cradle-to-grave engineering. Um, alpha to Omega. What else you can expect with the uh, MTRC program is working and living in austere environments. All right, we are located all over the globe. However, they're not completely austere. We do have you know individual living containers. You'll have access to internet, so you'll be able to keep in touch with the family. It's not, it's not. You won't be in a communications blackout out there. All right, all your food will be provided for. Basically, all you're responsible for is you know getting up, putting in your hours, going to work, and uh, doing your job. Standard MTRC workday. A lot of people want to know what you know what you're going to be doing in the program, and there is really no such thing as a standard MTRC workday. We're not FSRs. We're not out there fixing a single piece of equipment. You know, day in and day out, each day is going to be something new, and all that's going to depend on the customer you're supporting, the mission that they're doing, and the location that they're in. All right. During the MTRC training, we're going to give you all the basics you need to go out there and do that you know, capability gap resolution, rapid engineering, but it's, it's different every day. 